early on when we started to see, all right, well, we are seeing engagement, we are seeing usability, and it, it this is working as a marketing exercise. However, this is going to become someone's full-time job to create the YouTube content that we need to sustain the growth that we want. And I said, I am open to becoming the person that does this, but I was in no way qualified or seeking out, you know, internet fame or stardom. I just said, look, this is the only thing we found that works from a marketing perspective. So why don't we try it harder? However, you know, I, I this needs to be a eat what you kill kind of scenario. And if I'm going to make this my full time job before it pays me to do so, like, let's let's make it my job in perpetuity if it's successful. And they were all very excited about that because it meant that their app was going to grow without them having to do any additional work. And so it's kind of become my pet project inside of what VinWiki is as a company. And, and fortunately now it's great. I mean, I remember the growth and like the first day months into it that I was like, we made a hundred dollars today on the internet, like from people <laughs> watching videos. This is crazy. Like that's almost replacing my wife's teacher salary here. This is, <laughs> this is wild. And, you know, it's just that then you see a, a video take off and things do better and things, whatever. And and then you try to figure out, is this anything I could ever count on or predict or see trends in? And so, you know, I, I like the business aspect of content creation and, and everything that that means. But at the same time, it's one of these things that it's such a peculiar way to earn a living that it always sort of feels like the rug could get pulled out from under you. It's like, you, know, you can't really back into how much money any of these social platforms owes you on a monthly basis. You know that it trends based on views and view time and ad rates and things like that, some of which are available in your analytics. But at the end of the day, there's always the, the effectively the ad rate, which is a fudge factor that, it, that could easily be manipulated. And you can't know if it's accurate you can know how it trends and you can know that in certain genres ad rates are much higher so for instance in you know high end travel business advice investment advice things like that those are going to be really really big ad rates um and some things like these lifestyle vloggers that get millions and millions of views every video they have abysmal ad rates because their their fundamental audience has less spending power and so when you start trying to think about content creation as a career then you've really got to consider, all right, who am I actually talking to through this medium and what spending power do they have? What does that mean in terms of the brand deals that I can get, in terms of the merchandise or whatever product that I might be able to sell? And obviously in terms of the internal ad rates that'll be available to me through each of the platforms.